Is Worth Point worth it? I am going to give you my opinion and I'm going to tell you how it has paid off for me. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. And I'm also going to give you a bunch of samples of how I use WorthPoint. I'm going to show you some items I sold higher because of WorthPoint, and we're going to go over the price guide. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. My name is Courtney. Thank you for being here. Most of my videos are about BOLO items, items to be on the lookout for, items that resellers can buy low and sell high. So be sure to check out my other videos. All right, let's get started here. I'm going to start with a clip from my other video that I did on WorthPoint before this item sold, just to give you guys a little rundown of how this all started. So let's watch that real quick. So um, I had an item and I have a video of me thrifting, not thrifting, um, garage sailing, picking up this item. And um, I had it listed auction style for $150 and I was like, that would be great. I picked it up. I'm going to say for like 50 cents or a buck. It was kind of one of those things where I bundled together at the garage sale and he just gave me a price for everything. So $150 auction style. I talked to my husband. I'm like, Hey, I really want to look this up. I feel like comps could be higher. I tried using Terapeak, but, um, which was the first time I have tried using Terapeak. I'm gonna show you that also. But I said to my husband, what do you think? And he's like, well, I have something I wanna look up also. And, I'm, and he's like, if you wanna do it, do it. So this is the part of the video. And this is on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I think there was another box. Okay, you guys, I think this is a home run. So I looked that up. There are some on Worth Point that have sold, but I do not have Worth Point. I did find one. It looks like it sold for 160 on Terapeak, but I really don't understand how Terapeak works. I don't know if those are solds or inactives. So I'm going to auction mine for $149.99 and see what happens. Okay. okay so Terapeak. I went in and I put Coddington Boyd Christmas card and you can see it shows 160 as the average sold price. I can't really see any details as to when it sold, if it sold or if they ended the item. So I was kind of thinking I'll just auction it for $149.99 and see what happens. Okay, so I got worth point. I paid for it. And check this out, you guys. So these are the solds. Remember, I had it listed auction style for $149.99. As soon as I saw these comps, I went in and I adjusted that price, um, that auction. Here is one from 2011 that is loose. It's not even on the Christmas card and it sold for $250. Now, this one is from 2008 and it sold for $152.50. Um, I'm going to go by the higher solds because they sold later. So I'm guessing the value is continuing to go up on these because they are so rare. And here is the one that sold in 2013 on the card like mine for $333.13. Okay. We're back. So now today I did a little research and I'm going to show you the updated information for this same item. I am going to show you what I ended up selling it for. I'm super excited. I was hoping to get a little more, but I just couldn't pass up this offer. You guys, I just couldn't. Um, so they offered me, I want to say like 250 and then I countered at like three something and then they came back at this price and I was like, you know what, I've got what, 50 cents, a dollar in this item. Um, I'm just going to take it. I mean, this is fantastic considering what I was originally going to ask for it. So let's look at two days. Um, we're going to look at Terapeak and Worth Point and I'm going to show you why. I mean, Terapeak is great. 
but it's not, um, it's not worth blink. And you're going to see what I mean. Okay. So this is my item. And I did price this very high, you guys. Um, I had this at $500 and then I ran a 30% off sale. So I think it came down to like, it was in the 300s. Um, right now it's showing 20% off. But somebody made me an offer and I ended up taking it. So let me show you Worth Point. And I, I went over this a little bit in the clip, so I'm not going to get too heavy into it. But you can see in 2013, 33313, and they accidentally put Boyd instead of Boyd's also. Um, this one says Boyd's and it is loose and sold for 250 in 2011. And this one is on the card and they put Boyd also. And I don't know why we all messed that up, but this one sold for 152.50 in 2008. And that is all of the comps for this rare and hard to find item. So I priced mine high. Um, I was hoping to get more in the 350 range, but again, I just could not pass the offer up. So today I put this into Terapeak and I searched solds and the only one that came up is my sold. And I ended up taking a best offer of $288.25 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, so I am completely thrilled with that. As you can see in the video, I was going to auction this at $150. And it may have only sold for $150. So, so happy that I ended up getting worth point and doing the research and taking the time to um, investigate further. So Let's look at some other examples. And these are going to be examples of active listings that I have. So let's go over here to this first one. Okay, Bola Buddies, what are you thinking about Worth Point? Pretty amazing, right? If you're interested in checking it out, you can go down to the description. There is a referral link down there. You can click on that and that will take you directly over. Um, I will also pin it in the comments. All right, let's keep looking at some more examples. Okay, you guys. So this is a vintage brown bag curly lion from 2001. It is a cookie mold. Um, these do vary from bread and butter to big money. Uh, most of them are bread and butter. I will tell you that. I actually unboxed this um, from my garage. I was just digging stuff out of my garage during a live show and listing. It was a live listing show over on my reseller testing Bolo products. If you like live listings, come check it out. So I have this listed at $129. It's currently 20% off and sitting at $103.20. So I have not had any bites on this. Let's look at Terapeak. No solds, none, nada. So I could not research that way. But let's look at Worth Point, you guys. All right. So this one sold in 2016 for $178. This one sold in 2013 for 158, 2013 for 156. So in my opinion, if you watch, as the date gets more uh, closer to now, the prices are going down. So this one sold in 2020 for 89.99. Here's a set of two that sold for 89.88 in 2021. So the market for the lion is decreasing. Here's some in 2019 that went for 55. But it looks like I am going to go buy this 2020 that's $89.99. And I'm going to price up a tad. And I am going to add best offer to my listing. So that is how I have mine priced. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm the only one listed. Do you think I should list it higher and just wait for the right buyer? Um, or do you think I have it priced right? Let me know. Okay, so here is another example. This item is a Martha Stewart cookie cutter, also an item that I listed on my live listing show. And it's like a working hangout, you guys. So I list, if you guys are new to eBay and want to learn how to list items, it's a great resource because I walk you through how I search comps and I also um, show you how I list items. So you can check that link out down in the description of the video. So you guys, this is a Martha Stewart by mail only copper cookie cutter. It's a snowman. And when I looked up comps on this, I was blown away. Now you can see mine does have some condition issues. 
I typically will use a tape measure just like this to let people know the measurements. And I try to include as many pictures as I, I can. Now, this one or as needed. This one, this is your uh, symbol or your logo branding for the Martha Stewart. So definitely keep an eye out for that. These are hot. They are a big money bolo. Um, the snowman specifically, um, I also believe there is a candy cane. We're going to talk about that as well. So I have this listed at 160 or best offer. So when I look at Terra Peak, um, this is the only one that shows up and it is different, um, I do believe. Let me see. This one, it looks like sold for $106.38. Let me open up the listing. This one is hollow. So it's got the candy cane and it has the um, snowman, but this one is hollow. The ones that are not hollow go for more, okay? So let's look at Worth Point. So I put in the same search and here is the snowman and the candy cane. I believe maybe these came as a set because a lot of people have sold them together. This one in 2013 sold for $366. You can see this is in way better condition than mine. 355, 2013. Now here is a 2021, you guys, and it sold for 350 but it's got the original paperwork. They look to be in excellent condition. And again, it says private sale. So I'm not really sure what the private sale means. Let's go, um, let's try to find one like mine. Here is the same one that I have. This is from 2013. It looks like the one item sold for 330. Oh my goodness. So I am searching high to low. Um, so that could make a difference. Here's another one in 2021. It's got the original pamphlet and the cookie cutter looks to be in mint condition and it sold for $192.50. Let's go over to page two and just see if there are any more. Um, 2011. So I feel like I've got mine priced in a good spot. I'm going to leave it how it is. Here's one for $149.99 in uh, 2021. And, um, but this one has both. So I might be a little high, but I'm the only one listed. So I am thankful for Worth Point, okay? Because Terra Peak wasn't giving me anything. All right, here's another one, you guys. Um, okay, so this is my listing. It's a Disney catalog, which Snow White adult costume. You guys, the head is plush. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it does have a rip on the seam, but it can be fixed so easy. I just disclosed it right here in the condition. All right, so Terra Peak, what do we got? No results found. So, womp womp, not going to help. Here is Worth Point. And again, you guys, there are only two over here, okay? In 2021, this one sold for $199, and this one sold for $81 in 2018. I think they were low. This one does have the apple. I am missing the apple. So I am the only one listed on eBay. So I have, um, I've got it at 220 or best offer. So I've got it priced high. I'm, somebody can make me an offer or I can reduce the price at a later time. And I do, uh, my sale does vary. Sometimes I do 25%. Sometimes I do 30%. Sometimes I do 15. It just depends. Currently, I'm at 20%. All right, here is another hard to find item. And I think Worth Point is great for hard to find items. And we're going to talk about pricing here soon. This is a Katrin Mueller mohair jointed bear. And I picked these up at a, um, a thrift store, actually. And I did pay up for them. I can't remember what I paid. I have had this one listed for a while. I think I got like eight of them. And I think I've sold like five or six. And there were a couple different brands. So I have this priced at $219.99. I do have it priced high, you guys, but it is really, really cool. So Terra Peak is giving me one Katrin, Katrin, I think is how you say it, Mueller, mohair jointed bear. And this one looks to be maybe the one I have. It has the same name, but I don't think it has the clothes and the condition does not look as good. They sold it for $39. I'm guessing they did not have Worth Point because they undersold it. Let's look at Worth Point. Okay, so 
Here are some of the Katrin Mueller bears. And you can see 178 for this one, 173, 150, 131. Now, again, these are all older listings, but it still gives you an idea. This one's 2019. I think this one is smaller. They do vary in size, so you have to look that up. Um, I'm trying to find a more recent one here. These are really hard to find. Here is actually the one that I have listed, and someone sold it for $60. Again, I'm pricing mine high. I think they undersold it. That was in 2017. These items are retired. They are made by an artist, and this person may not have had worth point, or they just didn't know that some of them are going for $178, $173. You know what I mean? So when you're looking at worth point, you also, I always search high because I feel like those are the people that have researched it, have good keywords and know what they're doing. So if I go into this listing, you can see all of their description, which I think is really, really a great resource if you're researching the item. So um, I also like to look at high solds because I feel like those people have done their research and they know the market better. They have good keywords. So I am going to look at their keywords and build my title based on their title. Okay. So is worth point worth it? Now that is going to depend on your business model. Um, for me, worth point is paying off. And again, after um, I show you pricing, I'm going to show you another example. It's um, it's a $40 item, but it was broken. And you'll see the story. But anyway, it's a great story. Let's talk about pricing real quick. So I held off on worth point for a long time because I felt like it was really expensive. I did the trial and I just could not commit to the the uh, how much it was. I'm like, no way. But the more I started thinking about it and I talked to my husband, I'm like, I really think that we're going to make money by having this because we're going to know how to price our items. And we both decided that it was time that we got worth point. And this all started with that Boyd's car. So I'm so glad we did it. Now, here is the price guide. Let me zoom in here. This is the one I have. It's called Value It Price Guide Premium. The ultimate price guide with over 605 million prices, including details and images. So again, you guys, this is going to help you build titles. This is going to help you um, with descriptions. And this is going to help you value your item. Okay. So you can pay $23.99 a month. And if you just want, to, you can do the free trial first off, but then you can do $23.99 a month. That's great. If you're just unsure, try it for a couple months. If you're sure that you want it, do the $199.99 for the year. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you're going to save $87.89 for the year. So instead of paying $23.99, you're only paying um, $16.67 a month. So that's a big savings over a year. So I'm cheap. And I like to save money. So I did the $199.99 for the year. How you do it is completely up to you. Now, I don't really know what this research it is, but it says marks and library. So it says your identification and origin research guide, 100,000 plus identifiers and online books. So I'm guessing if you sell books, maybe you're going to want to upgrade to this level. I don't do a lot of books, um, but I know there's a lot of people that do. Marks, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like, um, I, I don't know. So I'm just going to leave that there and you guys can research it. I don't want to give you bad information. And the final is all access. So you get Worthopedia and Marks and Library. So you get both of these that I just talked about and both WorthPoint products combined, complete access for the best price. So it's $39.99 a month or $439 for the year. Um, if you do the $439.99, you're actually getting it for $36.67 a month. So you have to figure out what it, what's worth it for you. What point, um, 
of your business are you at that it's going to be worth it for you? Do you want that first level, second level, or third level? I feel like since I don't do books, that the first level is perfect for me. $200 a year. Um, check with your CPA. I'm guessing that's a business expense because you're using it for your business. But check with your accountant on that. And save your receipts, you guys. Um, give it to your accountant. They should be able to advise you on whether or not you can write it off. This McDonald's Happy Meal Trinket Box that I had. And when I put in McDonald's Trinket Box, these were the only solds that came up. Nothing like mine was listed or in the solds. So I went to Worth Point and I typed it in and it pulled up this one that sold for 305. And actually this one was not here when I pulled it up. Um, this one has the little certificates, so it's a little more fancy than mine. This is like mine. So one sold in February for $90. And let's see, that is the one that is like mine. This one sold for 54, 54, 52, 53. Um, so you can see the $50 range for these uh, porcelain hinged trinket boxes, okay? Now, let me uh, show you my listing. So these are on worth point. So it gave me a really good starting point. Uh, so here is my listing. And I put the top of the trinket box where the gold meets the box has been glued back on. So mine had a defect. Um, it had come apart. It had come unsealed. And I had to repair it. So I just disclosed that information. You can kind of see right here where I used a hot glue gun. Um, I felt like that would be the easiest and I don't know, it would stick the best. I don't know if that was the right way to repair it. Maybe I should have left it as is and let somebody else repair it, but that's what I did. And then I just told them to look at the last photo so that they could actually see that the item was glued back on. Now somebody can probably get that apart take um, a razor blade and peel off the glue if they want to repair it a different way. But because it was like that, I believe I started my auction at $39.99. And this ended up getting two bids and sold for $49, or I'm sorry, $40.99. So I would have had no idea based on eBay solds and eBay actives because there were no comparables because this item is hard to find. Um, this is what it looks like on the bottom in case you guys ever see it. It is 1997, so it is vintage and it's a porcelain trinket box. It didn't have any um, chips or anything like that. It was in great condition other than the seal just broke where it met the porcelain on the bottom. So $40.99 on that one. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I haven't mentioned Olo for a while. This is my mascot, um, Olo the Owl, and he is wearing Bolo Buddies merch. This is a kid's size shirt that I put on my stuffed animal. On the back, it says, thanks for watching. So if you're interested in some merch, there is a link down in the description of the video. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you think Worth Point is worth it. And go check out one of my Bolo videos. They're going to be popping up. And I'm going to tell you, you're definitely going to learn about some bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. Thanks for watching.